Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday on FIFA 21, headliners promo on the weekend. I want to talk about stuff with these headliners cards because they're moving around like crazy on the market. We have headliners that have already started their four-game win streak with Bruno Fernandes and Zaha, of course, with Manchester United and Crystal Palace both winning in the past couple of days. And we have more games today. Atletico Madrid is playing. So that's, again, a possibility uh, for them to start their streak. And I believe Roma is playing as well. So um, Mkhitaryan, those guys could start their streak. And uh, Leicester City, Newcastle, Chelsea, Man City. There's nobody from headliners from uh, those teams. So I just want to take a look at these headliner cards, man, because that's what we're, you know, a lot of people are following them. Now I'm recording this really quickly after the stream uh, tonight because we just streamed on Twitch, link down below in the description. And EA just tweeted out that the servers are going down for a quick maintenance. We were looking at some of these headliners because they've dropped off a bit from where they were earlier today. And um, I'm honestly looking to see if I can cash up on some deals because this is what I want to talk about. These new promo cards, they're live items and people are paying for them and they're trying them out and their prices are fluctuating around like crazy. Criminal, not criminal. Suspect number one is what I'm trying to say. Suspect number one is this Joao Felix, man. Take a look at this guy's bounce. From Friday night, 680K, 670 on the on the PlayStation, 620 on the Xbox. He went to 825 on Xbox and then 802 on the PlayStation. Kind of went back down. And it's just been fluctuating like crazy. Again, he went to 740, then back to 780. Now he's back down to 740 and 700 on the Xbox. And we're getting a little bit interested because what we saw yesterday with that market rise into the daytime, we saw a nice rise on Zaha. Now, please, EA Sports, let me get back into the game because the server's maintenance that you said is not going to happen for 30 minutes. Hopefully, stuff is going on. But they did, like, disable match uh, creation and stuff like that. Okay, I think we're good. I'm just getting a captcha. But um, Atletico Madrid is playing today. And last night before uh, Crystal Palace played, Zaha had a nice rise. And this Felix card has been fluctuating around a lot anyway. And these are live, uh, live items we have to remember, right? Since they have a game today, people might want this card just to be in case that Joao Felix scores as a potential inform. And that card could really explode. So I think I'm a big fan of Joao Felix this morning or today um, just because of the fact of that they do play. Uh, now, I don't know if you guys are going to be on the market post um, this server's coming back or if you're even around at this time anyway. A lot of you guys are asleep right now because it's nighttime uh, or late night and it's just not so late for me yet. But um, this Joao Felix was 750, 740. Um, and he was 800k earlier. So I've been looking for him around the 740 range because I want to make sure that I can make it a profit, right? After tax, if he does rebound to where he was, I've already purchased a Bomba card. Now, the only thing about this one is he did very well yesterday for an overnight flip um, because he is honestly very rare. He's a lot more rare than Zaha is, which is crazy to think because this is an 86 rated card. Zaha is an 87. And... Um, it just it's just very interesting to see the differences in the rarity of these two cards but i'll show you guys this bombas graft as well and if you you bought any of these last night the, the fluctuations we talked about on friday night i figured these guys would bounce at some point um but they certainly did yesterday bomba went from 390 and he actually on friday which i, I bought mine for 370 he was down here in the 370 range, and we sold up here at 428, uh, and he stayed pretty high today in the 430 range, and has now dipped back down into the 395s, 390 range. So we're kind of watching him because this is a French left mid. People said the player of the month SBC was very good, uh, not value, but a very good card, and this is a card that so many people can link up with, you know, of course, Renato Sanchez, if they did Ben Arfa, uh, or if they have done Alwar's SBC. This guy links together a lot. And he's only 400K, so he's not super expensive. So I like him because a lot of people like this card. And I think a lot of people just want to try him out. That's why you're going to see a fluctuation there. And then we're also looking at Ben Yedder. Because Ben Yedder had just as crazy fluctuations as Joao Felix did. Take a look at this. Ben Yedder went from 900K on both consoles up to 1.2 for a hot second on PlayStation and up to a million on the Xbox. And then it went back down on PlayStation to 1 mil, then back up to 1.1. 1 
So we're really watching this Ben Yedder because he could be a big time flip for today. I do think these guys rise up into Sunday a little bit, not a crazy amount, um, but I do think you will see a rise on them. And that's why I wanna make sure that I'm getting a good price for all of these players because um, I wanna make sure that even if they don't rise as high as they did into Saturday morning, because there's less demand, right? There's less demand on a Saturday or on a Sunday for weekend league than there is on a Saturday because most people are finishing their games. And that's why you see the weekend league sell-off already starting to take place but people still want to go out and they want to try these new promo cards um, with their remaining games or whatever it may be. So that's why I'm still kind of keeping an eye on them. Ben Yedder, again, I really think this guy can go back to 1.1. Considering where his overnight listings are at, he's 1.03 right there, 1.02. I'm sort of assy. He's been getting bought right around 1.02. That's kind of like his low range. Uh, the 1.03 is still there. But... Um, I think Ben Yedder is going to go back to almost 1.1 mil, although you will have some competition with people trying to flip that card like we are looking at it. So that could also hurt him. I don't, yeah, they don't play Ben Yedder and Monaco don't play until the 6th of January. So there's not a game coming anytime soon for him. Uh, but I still think that card's going to be a really good flip, uh, into the morning time. I just watched this Blanc sell at 1.1 or 1.05 and now it's got a bit at 1.1. Great. Um, but yeah, that was the main thing on this video today is I wanted to talk to you guys about these headliner cards and their fluctuations because they are moving around a lot, which means you can make profit on them. So again, like we said with this Mkhitaryan card, I feel like he's flying under the radar because this is a very good card. Four star skills, five star weak foot. I mean, the card, the way it is right now is very good. If you're playing or running a Serie A team, I think people realized yesterday on Saturday that this guy was too cheap. 70,000 coins rising up to 79k and Roma play today. They're playing in Sampdoria. Where is Sampdoria at in the table? They are 11. So I'm not entirely sure if, um, you know, Mkhitaryan has been playing a lot for Roma, but I'm guessing that people bought that this card up today because they know he's got a potential to play. If you see this down in the range of like low 70s, this is a really easy play today. Um, because I think this is going to be an 80,000 coin card when game time comes, uh, because again, these guys are live items. And I think people forget that a lot is that these, these cards are live items and at 80,000 coins, he doesn't have that many cards to be fair. He's got a few pages. Um, but you know, if you see this at like 72, 73,000 coins for this live item, uh, headliners, Mkhitaryan, some guy played eight games, 47 goals and 31 assists. I smell squad battles. <laughs> I smell squad battles. Brought a lot of goals, man. GG's. But um, yeah, a lot of these guys are fluctuating around a lot. And it's kind of interesting with this promo team too, is because we're still in that mindset of like, where is team of the year, right? Where is team of the year? Is it coming? What can we expect? And when can we expect it? This Amavi card is another one that a lot of guys are looking at. I think this is going to be the Sansone of last year. He's literally on Marseille, same thing as Sanson from last year. And if you guys don't remember Sanson headliner from last year, he was a center mid that everybody thought was going to rise because of the links, because he was French, he was league un, and you know, it was like, if he gets one in form, this guy's price is going to pop. And he was very cheap. He's around 20K as well. This Amavi card to me is the same thing. 25K is pretty cheap for this item. I think you're going to see a lot of people that invest in this card because he's a French left back and he's got very similar stats to that Kamara rule breaker card who has been dropping in price. So I'm just saying this is going to be an investment that a lot of people go out and, and make because it's going to be, yo, I'm going to buy two, three, four, this guy, you know, he's probably, he's already getting insta sniped at 24 K 25 K. So this would be a card that if you want to get in, um, you know, Saturday and Sundays are really cheap for, for new promo cards. Yes, it does seem a bit early because you're like, what if they go lower throughout the week with more pack supply SBCs or some sort of panic? But that's a pretty low card. And honestly, Hideki as an 86 rated card, a live item is almost SBC fodder price right now. So that's one that you can look at. Now, Bruno Fernandez is in a league of his own because this guy should, I don't think, I don't think this guy should be... Um, up at the price range that he is right now. He's up at extinct at 2 million coins and I'm not seeing any on the market at this time. So I think this Bruno Fernandez card is very overpriced, which is very interesting to me, but you'll probably see him. I think he will become unextinct today. I think you might see him become unextinct just because of the fact that it's weak in the sell off. And I hope people realize that I do not think that card 
is worth that price. Two million coins for that card. Yes, it's, it's Bruno. Yes, it's a good uh, card, but I don't think it's really worth that price. So watch for that card to come down a little bit today. Watch for more fluctuations on these headliners. And again, it's Sunday, right? We talk about this every single Sunday on the channel. You see a lot of cards dropping off, whether that's icons, that's out of pack special cards. Again, Sunday night tonight and Monday morning, the squad battle rewards time frame is going to be a great time on the market to look at cards. And just like that, Joao Felix is back to 800K. He was just 750. All right, never mind. There's some 770s. And we're going to watch these for the relist, by the way. That's going to be a good little relist time frame. But um, we're going to be watching just all out of packs cards and even some of the golds. We're going to look at, um, after I check this 59th minute on Ben Yedder, I want to show you Neymar and Mbappe because Neymar and Mbappe, I said they were going to go lower this weekend, after this weekend, and that is exactly what they're doing. And I think they're going to go even lower today. Mbappe is about to dip under 900K. He's right at 910. I think this card goes under 900K today on Sunday. He's 903 on the snipe. Neymar is like 6, I think. He's 680 or 690. This might be 675 at some point today, um, down another 10 to 15,000 coins because... It's just weakening sell-off time. And these guys continue to drop lower and lower. Every single Friday, they get packed with more pack supply. And that just is more and more supply on the market for these gold cards. And it just kind of drives them down lower, of course, as we get till team of the year and gold cards become a little bit more obsolete anyway. So that's just kind of something to keep in mind right there with those items. And uh, out of pack specials for sure. I know I've just mentioned that word like three or four times, but if you're looking for stuff to maybe buy tonight, since we know team of the year is not coming like pronto, team of the year is not coming in the next week or so. It's going to be at least like January, I think we said 15th or January 18th. Um, Kimpembe, right? Out of packs in form, 100,000 coins right now. This guy was 115, I think like on Friday night. Yeah, 112 on Friday, dipped down to 107. What was he yesterday? Dipped into the 111 range. He's down at 100K. French Lynx, Lee Gun, where everybody is playing with untradeable cards right now. Watch these out of pack special cards again today on Sunday. Really watch these roads at the finals. Really watch these because if these get dr dropped at too much, like Alaba at 410 would be a buy for me because people are still, uh, they have these cards as investments and they're still very rare on the market. Freeze cards would be a great look as well. This Verratti at like 105 is a great look. This Hazard is very low right now. Thorgan Hazard at 165. He's down a lot today. He was like 180, I think, at one point. 184, and he's down to 165. So there's going to be an opportunity, as always, on Sunday night tonight around the squad battles time frame to buy some cards and to watch them rise up. Chiellini, 189. That's pretty low. Um, this Mane might get down to two mil. This Bernardo Silva might, you might see 530. Team of the group stage cards, I love them because they're getting more rare. Um, Diego Carlos at like 190, huge fan. Holland, 164 for this man. That's a really good deal. That's a really good deal if that's his exact price because um, he's been like 175 to 180 uh, the past day. Yeah, see, 183 Saturday morning. He's kind of been dropping all day, but this is a very rare team of group stage item. You know, the guys that we got for Thursday flipping this week with Pepe, with Jota, people are going to be all over those again this week for Thursday flipping investments. The earlier you get, you get on some of those out of packs cards, the better. And uh, I see no reason why people will be really scared or um, like not willing to buy cards this week. I know last week we saw a market rise and then on Monday, they dropped some big content with the um, the party bag on Monday last week, and that dropped some of the market. I know they could do that again this week. They could do another party bag that would include headliners. Um, I would honestly be shocked if we didn't see some sort of party bag or another 86 plus upgrade or something along those lines. Um, but still, if anything, that's just going to cause a second entry point. If you're buying tonight, you should be fine. I don't see any or tonight or tomorrow morning, Sunday night or Monday morning on the out of packs in forms and specials. I feel really good about that. Even some of the gold cards, right? Gold Marcus Rashford is out of packs right now because he's got the team of the week card that is in packs. And that's a card I would be 100% a fan of you guys investing in uh, really soon because that card, 1.029, this has been Yetter, there's a lot of people that want to buy him at 1.02. So that's kind of uh, maybe steers me away from him for a second. There's, I feel like there's a lot of people investing in him. But 
This gold card for Rashford's out of packs. He was just 105 a little bit earlier, and now he's back to 108, 109. Uh, you're going to find more undercuts on this today. And this is going to be a very popular investment that people are going to say, hey, go buy gold Rashford. He's out of packs until Wednesday. He's going to rise up after Sunday. So if you can catch a low on this card, I would say PlayStation price, maybe like 102, 103, because then you can easily get him to bounce back to 110, 115 possibly. Um, I would I would expect like one, 110 to 112 for a bounce back. So if you can get him around 100K, that would be perfect uh, for this Rashford card. So just keep an eye on that one. Um, you know, you have guys like even gold Pugba, gold Pugba is down a lot right now. Uh, he's a hundred thousand coins. Again, every single week that we have pack promos like this, you just see a lot of stuff get sold off and a lot of stuff get low. And then it, it does rebound a bit into the week. Um, one other card I want you guys to keep an eye on is this Douglas Costa. I think I even talked this on yesterday's video. Douglas Costa, 320K is where he was. He's now bounced back to 325. This guy gets a green link to Mateus Cunha, a Brazilian center attacking mid Bundesliga, an objective card a lot of people are going to do along with icon swaps. This guy at like 315 to 320 on the PlayStation uh, is a buy, in my opinion, because next week, Thursday, I feel like this guy goes up links to Fabinho. Of course, you know, Fabinho is a center back, but the Mateus Acuna link is something that I like a lot with that card. And if we would happen to get a, um, I'm not sure who's in the running for if they've even released Bundesliga player of the month. I don't know if they've even released that yet. Um, let me take a quick look here at player of the month. I know we have seen the voting for La Liga um la liga voting is out i don't know about bundesliga though if, if it shows holland then it's been the voting okay so the voting has not started yet for the bundesliga but we have seen voting for la liga and this is a player of the month sbc that we should see uh really soon now the voting is open we've got benzema aspas messi hermoso kunde moreno and antiveras and i think it's going to be benzema or iago aspas it's going to be one of those two right there so that's an sbc that we could see this week we'll talk about that more in the market outlook tomorrow but again i just wanted to say that it's obvious right now you can make coins from flipping icons went up a lot this weekend out of pack special cards rebounded very well in some areas this cane card 119 it's kind of an undercut right there that's interesting like this diego carlos if you see him at 190 i might have said that already but that's a good card and these headliners are going to continue to fluctuate because they're out of packs there are live items like don't forget that headliners are live it seems like it's crazy that we're having another set of live items in packs just don't forget their live because um, those those cards might be nice out of packs risers as well. Even with a second team next week, it's going to be very, very interesting to watch. So again, watch that weekend league sell off today. I think there is going to be plenty of opportunities to invest. One type of content, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, I want to shout one type of content we could see today on Sunday. I keep thinking we're going to get a headliners SBC and we haven't got one yet. I would expect... I'm going to say it again because third time's the charm, EA Sports. I said one for Friday, there wasn't one. I said one for Saturday, and there wasn't one. They gave us an 86 pack and Rob in the last two days. I think today, I'm going out on a limb. Today, finally, we're going to get a headliner card as an SBC. We might also see upgrade packs. Don't be surprised if we see like an 81 plus or a player pick, something like that along those lines, or maybe an even an 81 to 87. Uh, we might see some sort of SBC like that today too so i'm gonna hop off before the server shut down on me maybe i'll ch uh, get on some cheeky open bids on any of these rule breakers and i'm trying to uh or sorry headliners that i'm trying to flip tonight before the servers go down on me but if you guys enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new it's been nathan foot account catch you guys later peace